saw it. I saw the bomb and I didn't know what it was at first. Isaac Garza discovered what he described as a ticking time bomb in the boys' restroom during lunch. It was in a blue Ziploc bag. Um, it was like a cylinder taped around with wires and it had a red clock in the front. The senior quickly retreated, alerting the principal, which set off a chain of events. Student safety was first. In five minutes, uh, the building was uh, evacuated. Students piled onto buses and flooded the sidewalks, making their way home. There's no way to instantly have 2,000 students in, you know, in, in, in the vehicle. Meanwhile, the McAllen bomb squad was on the other side of the building, suited up to go inside. Police say the device was destroyed and cleared from the building. Just a few weeks into the school year, police say they prepared to handle a situation like this one. It, w it was a very orderly manner the way it was handled. School officials say part of their plan was notifying parents that school was being let out early. We sent out a phone call to all parents letting them know uh, that, uh, that we had evacuated the school and the students were in a safe location. Gilbert Flores was one of the first parents to arrive at the school. I want to make sure that... Um, our child safe. Flores says he is pleased with how the school handled the bomb threat. Fortunately, the device turned out to be a dud, but either way, Garza says he is glad he reported it. He says any other student would have done the same. Well, well, great, you know, I don't want anybody to get hurt or anything. Um, I'm just happy that everybody got out in time.